quantization. So, what is quantization? Don't worry, we have an example for you. This is something like math. If you know physics, it's easy, because it's physics too. Physics and chemistry intertwined. So, a green light has a wavelength of 525 nanometers. Determine the energy for the green light. Yo, it's just plugging in numbers. What is the formula we're going to use? The Planck's formula. Energy, E, in joules, obviously, equals to HC, Planck's constant, times speed of light, divided by the wavelength, represented by that lambda. So, Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. And then, you just plug in your numbers. You have Planck's constant right here, times a speed of light, divided by the nanometers that they gave you, uh, the, the, speed, the wavelengths, basically. And then you have to Wait, convert... Why, you have to convert... Why are there so many zeros? I will explain that right now, student. Be quiet. Okay. You have to convert the nanometers into meters because it's SI units. Oh, okay. Student. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Good. Uh, and then, so you have to convert it. Then you just divide it normally. Once you divide it, the end, the answer would become energy is three point seven eight times ten to the power of negative nineteen joules, which is a really really small number. Lambda. <laughs> <laughs>